Nationals, uh, presented by VTTV. Uh, I'm your host, Stephen, and I have my co-host, Alan, and we're joined um, by Dominic, hey guys. who is friends with Sebastian, um, who we'll see in the upcoming round. So, Sebastian, would you just like to give us a walkthrough on what... Or Dominic, Dominic, would you like yes. to give us a yes. background on what Sebastian's running, uh, kind of what his general strategy is, and how you think we'll oh, yeah. approach this match? Oh yeah, so uh, Sebastian's running triple threat, uh, threat. It's actually a triple uh, Skurg bomber uh, list. Um, one of them is Nim. The other guys are uh, the PS3 and the PS2. Um, mostly, what he wants to do is fly in formation. They're mostly like a big. Um, it's, it's mostly the three bombers, uh, three uh, B-Wings, sorry, right. uh, with uh, better dials and uh, more HP. Um, they also cover angles with uh, the, a good uh, TLT shots. Uh, two of them have um, ac uh, auto blaster turrets for uh, as a defense against the flankers, mostly. And uh, yeah, so basically his plan is to stay in formation, uh, be a big threat for the Joust, and uh, he stays in control of the of the board mostly. So I have a question for you. Go ahead. Did he go for the Cathark Pirate with TLT over the TLT Y Wing just for thematic purposes? Just after you have the same ship? Yes. Yes, <laughs> he did. <laughs> Alright, I respect that. Mad oh, yeah. props to that. Okay. He started he started with the three bombers because just mostly because he's he likes it. He yeah. loves them. Yeah. You know, I've noticed people in X Wing in general love symmetry. Oh, I do. Oh, this, like, you this, see so much where it's just like, I'm going to fly three of these. It it's actually, like two and one other may actually be better, but I'm going to fly three of these. So I don't I don't own the, um, the Imperial Navy blue scheme for Vader, and it actually irks me a tiny bit that my Vader is a different color than the Strucker oh, I was flying, and I was like, this is, ah, man, I wish I had the Navy one. And like, that sounds so silly, but yeah. So you just no, need to I give agree. them to Eric and be like, Eric, That's paint right. all three of these up so they're matching. Or I'll just dip them all in black. Oh, yeah. day. First order them all. That'd be fun. <laughs> all right, so what do you guys think about this uh, Astro replacement? Well, first of all... Pretty we, interesting, right? So, yeah. Billy, I know, is running a Naldra Dengar Fen. Yep. Like the standard mine length list. Yes. Um, and it looks like we've got versus three Skurgs. So, hmm. I think it's good for, uh, for Sebastian here. Uh, as he has uh, plenty of room just to maneuver, to work around. Uh, he might want to have uh, some of the enemy ships. Probably set up up top. Uh, so I think we've got the opponent's name. It's wrong. Correct. That's yeah. not Aaron. So, so I don't think Sebastian would set up in the... Oh, he won't joust. Right? I think okay, won't, so he's no, bottom. He yeah, I see him. Yeah. I think Sebastian's got a tough, tough fight ahead of him, actually, because... There we go. He has an Autobots turret on lock, which is decent, but I'm I'm not nice sure. Thank you. I'm not sure how much lock will be able to contribute in this game. So it's, I think it's, it's a no, lot. They're actually, they're mostly fighting in arc. Oh yeah. Like yeah, the turrets they're mostly they're just as a safety mechanism. I see. So he's using them as kind of like a jousting B-wing. Yes, yeah, and that's that's what I meant when I uh, okay. I compare them to the B-wings because yes. it's mostly what he tries to do. I see what you're saying. And it's difficult for you to disengage yes. because of gong, because of the bombs, because of the TLT, it's, it's, because of long range scanners. Yeah, so yeah. it just kind of pulls you so, in and yeah. you just yeah. sits there exactly. and grinds. It's, it's hard to approach it. It's hard to. It's a yeah. tough nut to crack. So, would you say Sebastian plays a hit and run strategy, utilizing long range scanners on the first pass and then getting out of there, bombing yes, and then using of, them yes. again? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's really smart. I like it. I like it is a, a really interesting list, right? It is. I mean, like, we've got. Three skirts, yeah. all completely different, differently loaded out. Yep. Um, it's a unique list. I've never seen it before. Exactly. I have to say, I would not expect a list like this to be in the quarterfinals. That's no, me neither, man. But actually, this guy, he played it for quite some time now. Actually, he's been playing. He's been playing that list uh, ever since the uh, the bummer came out. Wow. He likes it that much. Oh, wow. And he, so he's got he, a no, lot not of that list. Oh, okay. he, he, he did uh, plenty yep. of uh, iterations yep. on that list. Uh, that's what he came out. Uh, yeah. That one he probably uh, tested tested it for like two to three weeks. Okay. Uh, with uh, minor, minor, minor changes like uh, the lock revenant, uh, the uh, sorry, the cathar 
Pirates was once a, a PS3 one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He downgraded, saved some points, gave him... Uh, Out of the TLT, probably, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly that, exactly. Because he used to be uh, three um, auto, auto blaster thrust. Yes. I like the range on the TLT. Oh, yeah. Right, without auto thrusters just running around, thinking, it's yeah. just that little yes. bit of like constant Pot damage. Shot. Spot shots. If, he, if the opponent do doesn't want to come in, he'll just fly around, keep him in range, and just pot shot with the. Uh, yeah. The now, turret. given like, obviously, we kind of discussed this a little bit in round one, but uh, Billy's Fen does have auto thrusters so you don't actually see auto thrusters nearly as often in the game anymore right um because bombs have kind of forced out your light aces that took auto thrusters true i think i think billy might unfortunately like okay so i think one of the advantages with sebastian's list is like as we were hashing it out no one really knows outside of um dominic obviously kind of how it flies right I think, like you said, it's really, really scary on the joust. Like, if we're mm -hmm. looking at this, mm -hmm. it, you're essentially jousting three B-Wings with double action economy. One with regen, right, the other with they're CLT. all going to be target lock. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the, the long-range cannon is basically... What, what, he, yeah. the, what, what Sebastian was telling me is, like, it's basically a PTL for his target lock because yeah. he sets it up, yep. sure. and for the initial jousts, like... You'll have your both your actions for, for right. those, especially like, on your PS ones and threes, yep. right? Yep. Like exactly. I mean, you can just kind of sit there and you're like, I'm going to get an action. Yeah, like, they're still shooting three game. dice to uh, three to four dice. Sure, that's three ship that hits hard. So I think, I think if I were Sebastian in this situation, I would be locking the Dengar mm -hmm. and try to take the damage as much as much as I can off the Dengar. Because a Nim versus Fen matchup is just a joke. Like you'll, you'll be able to kill him, no problem. So if he can get Dengar quickly off the board, then it'll be in his ballpark. What do you guys think mm -hmm. the play is for Billy in his perspective? Billy's got to play, obviously, very cautious with his Fen. You see a lot of auto blasters running around, so he can't really do the dive in thing. But exactly. he does have auto thrusters, right? So him actually playing and plinking on the outside isn't a terrible play. He'll sink damage. They're low agility ships. He's going to push damage in. He needs to wear them out. Um, Dengar, he should be able to hold Ark with Dengar on this. Like his de He should get to maximize it. Um, Sebastian really needs to make sure he focuses on Dengar if he wants to burn him down and get him down as fast as possible. So here's the question, though. Should Dengar go after him as he should, or should he just bring down the TLT quickly? Because um, he, he'll have the best opportunity to double tap against the TLT. I don't know... I don't know if he'll have an opportunity to double tap on Nim. I think I would... Personally, I would kill Nim as fast as possible. I would He's right? carrying the bomb also. Um, yes. Exactly. Mainly because the fact that, okay, let's say in a hypothetical, we trade Dengar for Nim. Not even a fantastic trade point-wise, but... Fen would be able to take the 2-0. Fen should be able, like with auto thrusters yeah. and everything. He yep. would be able to control. And you're range. getting you're getting ri rid of the auto blaster accuracy corrector combo, right. which is deadly against Fen. I um, mean, the thing is, is Dengar should be able to heat damage in, yeah. right? Like, I mean, if he does this as a straight joust, he should be able to really push a ton of damage in on them. And I don't even think he probably will do a straight joust. Um, I think he should actually. He should come in with the Naldra also. I've seen him. Running in Aldra, like uh, off the map, uh, not, not off the map, but off the off the off the battle, on the side, just as a, uh, a focus generator. Yep. But in this matchup, I think he needs every gun he he can uh, he can have. All yeah, the in Aldra, honestly, if you know you're going to get an action on your other two ships, and like what you dial on, you're positive you're not getting blocked. An Aldra with a focus and evade is a obnoxious little ship right. to try to take down. That's true. Um, not big enough. Like, do you really want to shoot a twelve, like a twelve True. point no, ship? Yeah. Like, it's exactly not that. really. Um, it cripple the action economy. You just kind of dangle them at range three, where you're like, go ahead. It's, if all, you it's want. always, yeah, it's always a bad decision to make. The interest, interesting thing with an ultra though is, yeah, it's kind of like, it's a curse, right? It's plus and a curse. If you kill an ultra, you're only getting fourteen points. But an ultra is really pivotal to any Atani list. Big time. Like. It hurts when you lose an ultra early. Oh yeah, the moment you go down to two yeah, actions on a mind link brutal. list, it's why they were discussing like uh, obviously there was the leak FAQ. They were saying you might oh, yeah, yeah, nerf yeah. a tawny down uh -huh. to two. Yeah, which I've it, always it, been it just won't see play. I mean, uh, you can. Nerf. I think it'll be fair. 
I think, think so? I think so. I think it'll be fair. Like, I think for one point, it's not bad, right? Like, if you have, if, let's say you're running those, like, PS5 guys, you know, you're essentially getting one ship, yeah. uh, a BTL, and uh, if one ever gets blocked, they'll still get its uh, focus, right? So yeah, that's true. Not bad for one point each. I think it'll be, I think it's a nerf that we need. I think three, three ship is a bit too, too uh, powerful. When when just put in uh, add in a, a range restriction on mine link, like do the job. That might not be a bad idea. I, th- uh, I, I always uh, I always thought that, that. Maybe, but then you get you get more oppo- uh, your opponent get more opportunities to just block your ships as you're flying formation. I guess which would cancel your action. Yeah. But I think I you think have to you watch do... out that range bubble, right? And like how you're doing it, right? So is it. You must be within another, like, let's say a range 2 band of one ship that has mine link, or is it from range 2 of what's giving you the action? I don't know like if that'd be enough. It makes it a little oh, dirty yeah. from a rules standpoint. I don't know if that'd be enough. Okay, so for example, if you look at, like, the four ship, the four star, uh, protector starfighter list, right? And you give, like, all of those Tawnies. Uh-huh. Kind of tough to turn around. That's a re- start going around. Yeah, but that's a re- that's a ridiculous action economy, right? Like unprecedented for one point EPT. Yeah. I think I think the problem lies. I think rather than fixing the like the cost or whatever or the range, I think overall like we just need to make it feel like a one point EPT and making it a two. I don't know. It seems balanced. Right. A two a two ship cap. Uh, anyway, Dominic, I wanted to ask you, what's the meta like in uh, in Montreal? Like, oh, so do you guys have a league? Like, what do you guys get up to? Well, we're we're from a region uh, we're in the Greater Montreal ar- uh, area, we're uh, in the R- yeah. Laurentians, and uh, like this weekend we came in uh, f- as a five man crew, two cars uh, from the same store we play in, mm-hmm. and um, in total from Quebec I think we're twelve that came in good. Nice. from pretty good turnout. Of, yeah. From uh, like the, the that's the, the, the greater uh, Montreal area. Yeah. And uh, so the meta is quite like at our store nobody plays rebels. Like today, uh, yesterday actually uh, was the first time I played against fair ship rebels. But I've heard about it. I know how to handle it. I know its weakness. Its uh, its um, its uh, power. But uh, it was actually the first time I played it. So nobody plays rebels anymore. Only uh, some guys tries the uh, the bomb lists uh, rebels. Uh, I know one guy that plays dash often, mm-hmm. but mostly it's uh, scum scum dominated. That's different from ours. I would say we're probably an imperial heavy. No. People here like empire in Toronto. We well, used to, not recently. Yeah, I mean, I guess like we have such a big group of people that play too, right? Like in our league, it mm-hmm. is like I think. Toronto over many pre, stores. Pre okay. Nim, I would say we had a lot of Imperials, but I think um, Nim changed it all. Yeah, like we didn't have that many Paratonis. We had some no. Fen players, okay. but then like once Nim came around, like we've got a lot of Nim players now. Yep. Um, yeah, like no, even the even the casual. We players like our rebels. Just, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Sorry, there's a, there's some rebel we Nims. Do like our rebels? Yeah, to be fair. I know. Yeah. I know in Quebec City they play they, they play more. Uh, the rebels is more uh, predominant like, yep. uh, there. Yeah. Uh, but it's, Quebec is like three hours from Montreal, so it's, yeah. it's they uh, they have their community of their own. Cool. They have they have big leagues there. Yeah. Uh, in our regions, we have uh, mostly uh, an epic league yeah. and the uh, small tournaments that uh, small uh, store tournaments that we do. Gotcha. Uh, all over the place. Cool. And we travel my we travel a bunch. Yeah. It's mostly uh, the guys that we came in, like the twelve guys. Uh, I'd say it's the same twenty people that that show uh, oh, shows up in the. Uh, I hope that's not a rock. No, it's not. No, he's fine. Yeah, he's good. See there, the, the split there. I'm not. I'm not sure about it. That that could be. That could work in uh, Sebastian's favor. I I think he's trying to preserve Fen, mm-hmm. but I think his Dengar is going to take a lot more heat yep. than he thought it would. And even an Aldra is far further in the back there. This is basically base tanking the list with Dengar, right? Yep. Does he have advanced sensor? No, he has accuracy character. Yeah, character, okay. yeah. Okay, so that's one advantage. Um, Fen doesn't have to worry about the advanced sensor bomb drops. Oh, so the, here you see what would happen. So uh, Sebastian uses his long range scanner as a threat effect 
see uh, in the beginning of the of the match he target locked uh, fan with all his three ships just as a um, as a threat to that ship yeah. and Billy I don't know if that's what went in his mind but yeah. seeing the the, the, the the three target locks there uh, he might got uh, scared of losing his fan yeah. right. still Sebastian will be able to take on uh, Dengar on his own. Like exactly, it's exactly what Sebastian wants right there. Yeah. He kind of isolated his the, the other uh, one ship from the, his opponent's list. Uh, Travis, they're saying Mim is mislabeled on the Twitch stream as number three. So one and three are switched. That doesn't seem right. That's right. Oh, yeah, good. <laughs> the problem is he has one, two, three in his ships that don't map to these numbers. Yeah. All right, so let's try to catch back up into what's going on here. Stengar shots. Takes two, it looks like. So it looks like that brings down Nim to no, two shields. I think he's shooting locked. That's it. This is a big deal, right? Like, I mean, this initial engagement, yep. Sebastian really does have to put some real damage in on Dengar, or it's just going to be that grind of a strip yeah. ship that can constantly shoot back at you. He needs to take it down as quickly as possible without losing too much. I think now Dengar is shield so has lost three shields. Dengar's out of shields. That was the first one no, it's Dengar quite has three shields still. Yeah, Dengar's still here. You can see his card. Oh, yeah, sorry. Jesus Moss. I know. Apparently the bracket's wrong. Before I see him beat Cody. Oh, did he? Right, Cody did lose his top 16. That was the last game. Thanks, Andros. So what do you guys think about that first engagement? I think it's uh, it goes how Sebastian wanted. Uh, I'm not sure about the the fan there. It could go either way, but I think it's more it's uh, it topples on more on the side of Sebastian, I'd say. I think it, the, yeah. It will all come down to uh, what's the outcome of that initial engagement, like the two yes. rounds that'll shot. Uh, if Sebastian will uh, lose a ship or not, if Dengar lives or not. So you think Dengar's just going to do one straight, tank it up, see if he can uh, double tap with Fen, uh the lockdown? Yeah, and that's Lock kind of the nasty thing shot, about a mind link list, right? I mean, the yeah. bump doesn't hurt you mm -hmm. nearly as much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. But if like he it does stops that, a shot back, right? Yeah, right, right like you right. hit the bump and you're like, now you can't shoot me. Exactly. He has kind of range one of well. another. It's kind of much as well, so he's going to pop that super fast. The thing is, you have to remember that Nim has the bomblet generator, yep. and if Dengar comes in, he'll eat a bomb for sure. It's true. Wait, does Gonk have two shields? Or does you see it Lock... There. But, does, but does Lock have any shields left? I think not. Oh my lord. I think this is just really... No, something has two. Yeah, no, that's gone. I think that's gone. That's the gonk. I think he got double tapped. Oh, okay. So he has two on gonk. I see. Yeah. Yeah. And no shields left. And yeah, I agree. I think I think, I think Billy Billy's happy with that first engagement. Ouch. Yeah. I mean, you've done one shield to Dengar and traded right. all of the shields. Right. This card. That is a. Yeah. It's not great. But it's he's going to get a lot of range one. Yeah. Is what I think is going to happen next round. So he's 100% going to pop countermeasures. Ooh, so going this is smart. The block. Yeah, going for the block. Might reach in here. So if he's not expecting to get shot. Gonk, yeah, there we go. So there's the gonk. We put the shield on, though. Oh, we put the shield on the gonk, okay. 
So maybe, so maybe it's right. At least he's gonna get bumped, right? No, it's, right, right. But maybe, maybe that's not gone. Maybe it's gone somewhere else. Maybe he just brought himself back up. Oh uh, no, I've got a little bit of this. He gonked. Right. But which way? Uh, uh, he went on the card. On the card, yeah. Hmm. Maybe because once he disengage, that's when he starts regen, regening. And maybe, but if he already had a two bang, wouldn't you just? I think I would have, because uh, that would give you the ability to eat the bump, get a shield back, next round, get another shield back, and you'd be at two before you're even taking a shot back. I'm curious. So Billy just did the K4 security droid onto Nim. Yeah. Nim's gonna take a lot of heat. Yeah. And it seems that Fen is in range also. Yep. Yeah, this is starting to look uh, like where Billy wants it. Yeah. And then Anodra's gonna start chipping in too. Yep, exactly. When will that, was that actually like uploaded as an individual video? Yes. When will that be uploaded? Yeah, just like it will probably be a little bit just because we're going to have a lot of stuff to do and we need to sleep for about a week. <laughs> okay. Thank you. That was good. Good yep. job, Morris. Thank you. Great event, guys. You can take over now if you want. All right, so that's uh, Nim taking two on Dengar. So Dengar just took two. I would double tap right here. Not double tap, but oh, here comes back. the shot back. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's one uh, one's Kirk that that's not shooting this round. Number two. Yeah. 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 Ooh, crit, crit. So um, Lock Revenant actually has three shields. So I think his gonk is off off the screen. Oh, okay. So yeah, he did uh, he did pop back up. So down one. We oh, actually drawed that. Oh, he shot at lock. He shot at Nim, and no, he, he rolled he a just, crit. He just took a shield off. Of, uh, oh, draw the fire. Draw. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so that's it. Nice. <laughs> Slowly starting to sink yeah, in. Yeah, you like, see, you're seeing the magic like, happening. It's like punching a brick wall, man. <laughs> exactly. Helps <laughs> when you roll those evades, too. Well, Is luckily. Oh, no. Oh. That's out of arc. Yeah, yeah that looks yeah, barely like, out of arc. He might have range on two. Might have two. I think they're calling a judge just to make sure. Dawn is our stand-in. Yeah, that's out, boys. Out. He should have a uh, lock, though. Out. Okay, he just called that out, so it's going on to two, then. Through the rock. Three on three. <laughs> An hour. <laughs> Dominic is loving this. So it takes two. So that strips the shields then on the yeah. low. Range two. Hmm. TLT is yeah, definitely the right call. Yeah. TLT yeah. would work. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, he's shooting primary. Oof. Yeah. Just the one. Misplay, oh. right? I think he did. Yeah, a bit of a misplay. I think he just decided to shoot mm -hmm. the primary into the TLT at range two, but yeah. Oh. I think he's going for damage output more than consistency. Yeah. yeah. I th I, he might want Dangar out as fast as possible. I mean, one damage isn't bad, but. There's a good chance he would have gone too. It's fine though. Right, right. I guess he was hoping for maybe like a three on flank. Yeah. 
or ju just the uh, just the three hit to to whatever his evades was. Yeah. Yeah, sure, go for it. All right, we got Cody joining us on stream. Uh, just I just, want, to just want to say real quick, uh, my friend Rob, who was commenting on what my tattoo means, uh, I want to verify that it is the number of hot dogs I ate. I uh, just wanted to clarify that. Had a great time. Thank you for having me, guys. Yeah, it was great. Thanks, Cody. It's an Feels amazingly fantastic. good match. Well flown, well flown. Great job. <laughs> So yeah, this, this guy, uh, Cody, is it? Yeah. yeah he was quad aggressors. Yeah, quad, quad aggressor, quad TLTs. Um, on our part in the GG squad, uh, we were quite glad that he got uh, got out of the tournament because uh, Sebastian really didn't want to see quad TLTs against his list. You and a lot of people, right? Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. It was a pretty good matchup yeah. against yeah. a lot of the remaining field if he would have squeaked through. Yeah. Yeah. Kanan Biggs is really good right now, too. Oh, yeah. So I'm kind of curious to see what Billy does here. You think Fen is going like the straight four? No, I think he'll honestly probably do something like a two bank in with Fen and just see where it Try lays. And keep the range you know, too? Exactly, because he's not going to put his Fen into auto blaster range. No, obviously not. Um, and this keeps him out of the chance of getting bombed by Nim. Uh, you know, a two and then just barrel right. rolling out oh, yeah, and oh, stop yeah, okay, Nim. Yeah. Just as a um, reminder, Nim has still has genius. Yep. Which makes it and uh, Sebastian isn't afraid to bomb his own squad to right. take down uh, enemy ships. Yeah, I mean he's got the bullet to do it. Yeah, right? exactly. He he actually won his last match against Fairship Rebels uh, with that strategy. Like he bumped them, went into the the the, the bump 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 town with the with the the enemy list, yep. uh, dropped two bombs and it was. Yeah, I mean, the moment you can pull Rex off the table, yeah, exactly. it's odd that that list falls apart. Like, having flown FSR2 mm -hmm. a lot, the moment Rex dies, the list falls apart in a hurry. What do you think Dengar does here? Because he, he has a tricky decision ahead of him, right? Because almost wherever he goes, he's eating a bomb. True. Granted, yes. granted, oh, there's no, granted, there's no CAD in this list, which makes bombs less threatening, but still... The um, downside, though, is that his Dengar now has no shields. Exactly. So he yes. can hit crit. Could hit that bomb. Could, yes. Even without cat, anything could happen. Maybe the hard, hard one or two on the right side. He has to go up, right? Yeah, I think he has to go up. But I would think Sebastian sees this. Oh, there yeah. you go. Yep. Wow. And now he's going to have a TLT on Analja. Analja cannot afford to take damage. Maybe that will shut the list down where Nadra is, and the yeah, has Nadra the light sick also. Die. Yes. That's right? that's critting critting TLT shots. Yeah. Yeah. He has one that's shield. That's always fun. Which is okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, like the moment you can start putting fire onto an Aldra. I know, think it might not be the primary thing, but if you can shoot her, sure. I think Sebastian sees this target of opportunity. He's gonna gonk with this, but he might manage to snag a uh, auto blaster hit on an Aldra, or force an Aldra to do a barrel roll. Because an Aldra doesn't have much room to move. I, I can't imagine him not being in range one unless he just goes straight. But imagine what Billy's gonna <clears throat> uh, two bank in with Fan. Okay, so he dodges it. Interesting. Still gonna eat the TLTs most likely. Yep. Well, I don't know. It depends. Depends Do on you the want situation. to? Right, like, you can shoot an Aldra, sure, but that means you're not shooting Dengar, yeah. depending uh, on what happened. Like, let's see where Dengar winds up. Yeah, if up. Dengar ends up range one, I mean, then you, you don't really have a choice. But Considering you do, you're, this like, is like, you're shooting big. at Dengar for sure. Yeah, Billy realizes that he... I mean, Billy, I think, can actually two slew. Uh, yeah, it's true, oh, yeah. but then... He'll get bombed by Genius. Oh, I think he's going to get he's, bombed. Yeah, I he's don't know if there's a way to not get bombed here. <laughs> yeah, this is a sloop. Good call on that. Man. He might be taking too little damage from the... Uh... He's seeing all this chirping. <laughs> <laughs> People do really like your hair, Alan. Kyle, is that you? 
Are you on YouTube and Twitch, Kyle? <laughs> I saw your Fiorina earlier. It's actually number one and two that has the auto blasters. Uh, yeah. Oh wow, that was actually a really good move then by Billy, because that puts him in range one of the TLT. So he's not shooting him on that. That was well done. This is going to be a barrel roll, though. I think he's going to barrel roll, dodge that arc, and then he's going to auto blaster Miranda. Or it's Miranda. Auto blaster an ultra. So that bomb has reach on Fen? Uh, no, 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 okay, no. Like 100% hits, actually? Dude, he's it's kind of tight, He's got a barrel here, It's I think. close. So it's what, two and a half bases, I think, is range one? Uh, yep. Yeah, here it comes. He's got to do it now. Oh, using the PTL barrel roll, uh, official barrel roll template? Yeah. <laughs> Blasting it up. Wow, slick move. Yep. I think an just dead this turn. It's taking two. I think he might even spend the TLT because the range one on Dengar means he can't TLT him, and there's no point shooting Fen. Push up a bit. Yes, please. Put some dangerously close in auto blaster of Fen too if he barrel rolled back. Oh, maybe he's going for Fen with the auto blaster. Yeah. I don't know. To be fair though, Alan, I think you may want to pop an Nulger if yeah, you can. Yeah, no, absolutely. I um, would. But I think this might be just where he's barrel rolling. I think he might be hitting, trying to go for Because Fen. Fen doesn't have a move next turn. Right? Yeah, like Fen right now is just a temporary threat. No range on number three. It takes it on. Joe just points in T over here. Hit crit. Cool. That's the downside of Billy's dice. They work for him, too. And there's a direct hit. What is that? Oh, this is my end for that? Yeah, here we go. Did you guys say that was a direct hit? Mm -hmm. That was a direct hit. So he just loaded three into Dengar. No. What do you mean? Hit, direct hit onto Dengar. Hit that's and a direct hit. hit? Oh, yeah. That's... Hey, hit crit. <laughs> Yo, who needs CAD? <laughs> Fen is that? Is this right? No, no, no. No, uh, no other way. No, it's not. No, Dengar took three. Fen should be full right now. Yes. Because at most with the auto blaster, he's doing two, right? Right. And non crits. Right. Unless he doesn't invade them. Which could actually happen. Plot twist. Fen Rao has selflessness. <laughs> Soaked up all that damage. So two damage left on him. This is big. If there's any oh. faction that could get selflessness, wait, it'd be wait, wait, What just happened? What's going on? So, no, sorry. Billy yeah, shooting. Yeah, Billy, it's Fen's turn shooting. Oh, Fen is? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, Lawrence right, right. I, sorry, I thought for a second Sebastian was measuring with the um, pirate. I don't know, Alan. I agree. I probably would have tried to pop a Naldra if I could. I don't. He decided to, I think, shoot Fen. With what? Auto Blaster. Because Nim should have shot first, should, right? Yeah. Wait, wait, has Nim shot or not? Oh, he did. He had to have, because I think Billy just rolled. And oh, yeah, Fen, yeah, Fen, Fen took two. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, well, yeah. okay. So, yeah. To be fair, if yeah, he accuracy. has... It's fine, it's yeah, fine, I but think... I'd go with your, your I, call I tried with Steven. Him. Yeah, I'd go with... Uh, I'd go on an L drop for sure. Because right, he's got Dengar in a comfortably low place yeah. right now. And you have like, to TLT, right? Like, exactly. So, like, just get it the, out of the on way. On the other hand, that makes it so that Fen has to run away from the bomb next turn. Fen is really... Oh, Fen's just in a bad place Yeah, next turn. I mean, he's going to drop a bomb time, yeah. and then do whatever Fen is wants. disengaging for sure. He has to. He's got to basically one part away yeah. to get out of range. Oh, yeah. He's going to get bombed, too. Yeah. Wow, TLT shots on Analdra. There we go. That's a three-hitter. That's one hit. Hits. Takes one, so there goes. Shield. Shields down. Crits up. He did have to use the focus. Oh, so he's, two, two, two hits. Not bad. No, it's really good. Right. It. All right. Even had the uh, the focus.
he did the target for it, like I probably would have gone auto blaster and TLT into an ultra just yeah, to try mm-hmm. to finish That's it off, saying, just to get yeah. a ship off the board. You know, like shooting fens great, but if you can pull that action economy off of an a mind link list, yeah, like because it like, falls apart quick. Because okay. again, fen fen is out of it, right? So if you right. lose, that's like that leaves Dengar having to focus next turn, right? Yeah. It just makes the list so much more predictable. It can't afford to bump nearly as much. Um, and, I mean, Inaldra, Inaldra, unfortunately, is probably going to get away now. Yep. Yep. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to three bank. It's just with the number of auto blasters in this, this really does kind of... Fen's not the threat he typically is. Exactly. In a two auto blaster yes. list. Yeah. Right? So, I mean, like, necessarily pulling damage into Fen, you don't need to pull him off the board right away. A Nim, a nim versus no. Fen... Nim wins easily. Right. Right. And you got bombs and you got auto blaster. Yes. You're fine. Yeah. Here I could see uh, Sebastian go like uh, pull them around with the T roll. Oh, I might just slow play this and just try to keep heaping damage into it. Yeah, like Talon in. Just right. try to keep no, he could, and then on He could just kill the box Dengar. Like. I think Lock is probably gonna gun it to get away from Fen right. and start regening just to play it safe. Right. And Nim is low on health, too. Mm-hmm. So... Nim might... You know, right, this is a great list. This is just chunk. Yeah. Like, I mean, look at the amount of damage that Billy's done. I'm just looking at Dead the trade and here, and, like, Sebastian's way up. in a pretty this good shape. A, yeah, and the the threat of bombs, right? Like, that, that hit direct hit, that was brutal. Because if that was a whiff, things would be very different. But right yeah. now, everything is within auto blast or range kill, right? So if, for example, Dengar rolls up in the four straight, thinking that Nim is going to three bank out, if Nim hard twos in, he'll just auto pass there and kill him before he ever shoots. So I'll end up in a PS kill. The bomb threat is the bomb threat is there for yeah. both ship actually even if, yeah. even for Dengar he, Dengar doesn't want to eat to die on a bomb there no, before the like, actual combat yes man this PTSD is where if you had advanced sensors around. Dengar would be yeah he'd be no, dead. yeah, yeah. He's dead. advanced sensor on him is like crazy yeah like it's dead hundred like I get what he was doing here just points wise and everything it's a really nice balanced list yes. it's mostly a strategical positioning that he did like. Obviously, the advanced sensor Nim is a better ship, but yeah. in this list, the accuracy corrector is better just to keep the formation tight yeah. and solid and tough to crack. Yeah, I mean, he's got bombs. It's almost like a version of like Big's lower Miranda, right? Where you're just sitting and you're like, I'm going to fly in formation. Yeah. You're going to shoot me. I'm going to keep dispersing damage. I have a little bit of regen. I just mm-hmm. really, I really like the disengage of this list. This yeah, list is not. It comes back really, this, really quick. Yeah, and it loves disengaging. It's yep. like, all right, yep. you want to disengage? A long range scan of you and bomb. Yeah, exactly. And drop bombs. Like, because <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. If you disengage, he just regens the health. Yeah, time. and, and he's he literally had done nothing. Yeah, it's the disengage is really, really strong on this list. The drawler fire is a fantastic idea. It's a really cool list. That's hilarious, drawler fire. He's been looking at Drother Fire for quite some time. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. As uh, as Re- Fairship Rebel came in, he, he went back to it with Gonk, and he just he, he was he was just uh, sold on it. So here's a question: ha- Has he ever used selflessness instead of Drother Fire? Because for one point, um, I would think that selflessness is even better. Right? Oh, I think it's more of the mm-hmm. uh, the outlasting thing over the long run than a um, a big one shot use. It's true, but... Because it's not like you're ever going to one-shot Nim, right? Exactly. Like with no, Selfless? With, I'd see what like, you're saying. With Alpha, for example. Because, like, if I fire, like, a Plasma Torb... You can sink enough damage to kill her. You just soak all of it onto Lock. It's more of a damage mitigation to spread it out all over the ship. Right. Uh, since it's the... Uh, the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is a really cool list. We've, been at, we've, we've had a hard time trying to crack it at the store. <laughs> just bring a just bring a tie swimmer. Yeah, I yeah. see some stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, kill it. sure. Um, he hates seeing that more ship than he, he does. 
it's what you see in the meta though that it's against, right? I mean, this list is right. great because of what else is popular right now. I mean, it's for one, it's just a balanced good list think, yes. anyway. Yes. Like at any yes. point, this is going to be pretty good. Like it can take an alpha. I gotta take a photo of uh, John over there. Oh, he looks so cool. <laughs> Sunglasses and a jacket leaning against the wall. That's hilarious. <laughs> so what's part three? No, that's this that's a T roll. Yeah, there he goes. So mo most most likely all of them well all of the uh, the two Skurgs from uh, the number two and three are most likely going to Talon roll. Oh, Brennan Catdog, you might be absolutely right. That's probably why I didn't take South because it was Rebels only. Yeah. Uh, selflessness might be Rebels only. Is it? Yeah, those are just Oh, well, that's dumb. <laughs> Is it? No. You I'm, really? I don't know. Yeah, we should give some kind of scum self as a serious that dumb? Yeah, so Are so you dumb on us? Jesus Christ. But Rebels sure as shit don't need their <laughs> selflessness thing with their stupid regen list. Materials need selflessness, but that doesn't Basically, make sense, yeah. right? Like, ruthlessness is the only thing that makes sense. I don't sense. know. The stupid TIE fighter pulling in and just randomly blowing up. Was that selfless or a mistake? Yeah, it's Rebel only. You could call it mistakelessness, but it's basically the same thing. I mean, Academy Or just pilot, mistakes, period. It's like, <laughs> mistakes were made. Go left. I mean right. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> he panicked. So I didn't see if uh, number three did uh, straight one. Uh, looks like it. Something like that. Oh, yeah. I don't know what Ben I may have tried to, like, I don't know if this is range one, oh, but he no. may have wanted to hit a barrel roll, right? right? To That's... kind of put him out of that? Because he's got, oh, no, you're right. Number one is oh, the one oh, with he's the gonna barrel. He's going to barrel. Okay. He, he doesn't want to eat the bomb or the TLT. Yeah, that's the right move, Billy. Good this job. is going to make him eat the TLT, though. But, but number, number no, one is three. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three is TLT. No, three is TLT. Yeah, three. Three? Three is TLT. Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Looking at that overlay wrong. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. My bad. Then, yeah, it was a good call. Yeah, Yeah, absolutely. And he dodges the bomb. Yeah. But number three is still full health. Yes. So that's... Oh, yeah. That's like, not a wasted attack, but it doesn't doesn't help in this... Uh, Penn's probably going to do... Oh. Oh wow! He's gonna overshoot. No, that. Oh, the barrel roll yeah, made it, made it. He's trying to get the hell away from that potential yeah. of being bombed. Yeah. Right? True. This is good, actually. It's a good move by Billy. Yeah, I think it's just what you could do, right? Yeah. Like it's all it's the best of what he could do in this situation. Where do you, where do you think Nim goes? Up or down? Oh, he's trying, mm. trying to do this. No, I don't think that fits. <laughs> Pretty sure number three should have just T rolled or. Um, let's see, so Nim? Yeah, I think so. He probably forgot. He shouldn't, that. He shouldn't be there, yeah. He I don't know, something like, rolled. honestly, like a two hard with Nim? Yeah, uh, the up or down, you think? Upper? Yeah, up to or the down. up would be fine. Oh, like, yeah. it keeps you in arc. Yep. Um, I think up. A barrel roll would put you out of arc of Dengar's arc. Yeah. Like, I, I actually, know. if you do a hard two into barrel yes. roll, you could PS kill Dengar. Oh, three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. That was oh kind of like, he's going to barrel he's roll. Gonna, he's going to barrel roll. He's no, that's a T roll. Yeah. Oh. That's a T roll. There's no, nice. no barrel roll. Oh, okay, okay. The, oh, oh, yeah. That would, so, that would Dengar, so will, good. Dengar will get a shot back, though, before he dies. Is the hard three on the the bomber? Is it is it red or white? Uh, I don't know. Let me check that. He's gonna PS kill Dengar though. But he but he will get shot back. Yeah, hundred percent. Ooh, I don't think that's range one. Ooh, it's hard. That is uh, out of red. range one. So maybe hard two would have the call. Is that range one? No, it's it range is. two. Props counter kind of measures. These two. Here we go. Still a ton of damage coming in though. So Fen is eating TLT shots. No, I think this is. Him no, first. not at that point. I'm sorry. Oh. Sebastian's wonder one uh, evade dice has been so hot. Yeah. He's rolled one evade like 
Why were why were four dice rolled? I don't understand. Hmm? Why were four dice rolled? He's oh, dead. so that's He's it. They gunner. did call that range one. Is why they, that was yeah, it was. So why didn't you auto blaster it? He did. Nim auto blastered for two to kill Dengar. Dengar shot. Oh, shot. Oh, back there you go. Gotcha, right. Wow. Okay. So Dengar got PS kills. Oh, did he? Oh. <laughs> I was like, I should vanish. This is pretty much the game explode? at this point. Yes, I think it is. There's too too much health left on the, all of those ships. I have to this, say, this list is really it's good. crazy good. This could win it. We, like, we, this is a good list. We went we 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 went we came in with no um, with no expectations at all. Yeah. But I knew that this guy had the right list with the right experience and the right amount of testing with it yes. to be able to perform really good in here. Reps reps count for a lot. Yeah. If he was flying this since the bomber yeah. was released and he's been flying the ship nonstop and the same number of ships even. Yep, yep, even. Yeah. And I'm sure I'm sure Nim was in every single one of those yep. lists. It counts for a lot. The PS ten. Yeah. A lot of people make that mistake for a major tournament. I mean I do this a lot too, but like I switch up my list right before. Mm -hmm. I chose my list like 12 hours before <laughs> nationals, unfortunately. But um, yeah, reps count for a lot. I, I did that actually. Like um, the past three weeks, I've tested rack low with Vader a bunch. Like at, it's actually the only thing I tested uh, tested with. And uh, yesterday, I yes, uh, it's actually Friday Friday night. I, ch I changed my I changed my mind and I went back to Dengar and uh, Boba Fett, which. Uh, I'm, love both. Yeah, right? I love it, and it's it's it, the, they're both ships that I know how to fly, and I know the matchups, I know how to handle everything that happens on the table with that. Yeah. Like I know Rackle is a good list, but yeah. I didn't I didn't have the um, the reps the reps, the reps the in yes. And yeah. the, I think the that's the confidence. In general, it was more of a confidence right? thing yes. actually. Yes. Like I knew I knew if I had six rounds to do, I didn't want it to to go down with Rackle and like the first game I would lose. I, I'd be tilted to, to uh, yeah. like. And I know exactly what you mean. Because it's not even the mid game stuff where you're like, oh, I don't know what action I should take. It's, it's, no, no, it's, it's honestly like the small it's stuff, the, like yep. the deployment. Like the, the, the whenever, planning. Yeah, whenever yes. you fly a new list, like 50% of the time, you'll be like, why the hell did I set up here? Yeah. Like, I'm just going to lose on this joust, or like, I shouldn't be approaching from this angle. Like, it's stuff like that that at a major tournament you can't really afford to learn. Nope when you're up against a guy that's a world beater, right? Like, yeah, that, that knows where yeah, where to fly. That actually. has the reps yeah. and like is practiced and is confident. Like you can't afford to have a disadvantage. So. Just knowing what's what ship to take down first yes. is a big step. Absolutely. And yes. who, who's a threat to your list? Target priority is huge. Yeah. When you're yeah. facing an unfamiliar list, yeah. being able to do that on the fly, not easy. See here, Fen is <laughs> Oh yeah. Mais je m'excuse, Pierre-Yves. <laughs> J'ai choqué. Oh, yeah, because th this guy, he, he lent me uh, Kylo. Oh, did he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And I asked him, like, the two weeks in a row. Oh, yeah. All right, so it looks like Billy here is... Uh, or she's on his last legs. Billy's a hell of a player. I think he put up a good fight. It's just... Mm -hmm. Still, Fen is, Fen's, Fen's is being chased here. Yeah, you don't see this often, but no, I, mean, <laughs> I, I think this goes to show just how strong Sebastian's list is on the joust and the disengage. Yep. Like, if you look at his list, he's only lost, you know, 10 shields. He only has one card on his, yeah. on, on three of his ships. Yeah. I know. It's he's insane. Only, he's only his a ability third to of his health now. Damage yeah. Yeah. And just, yeah. I will say, though, that... that that bomb direct hit really changed things because it he, he could have right. traded right. Dengar for Nim, right? Right, exactly, and it would have been okay. And that would have been okay, even with a two health fend, he could have come back. But I think, I think that three health uh, hole was a bit yeah too maximizing much damage him. on the bomb doesn't yeah. help. Yeah. Right, but that was the moment those shields dropped. It's like that bomb becomes really, really yep. dangerous. Yes. You don't want to get hit by. It. Was cool. It's mostly because of the threat of it. You, so, you need to respect the bomb at that point. I know Chad has been talking about it, but did you guys notice the turtle? Yeah. I agree. Yeah, yeah I've, re I've read it. Uh, someone landed to him. To Billy, right? This is, uh, 
is his lucky charm turtle. Exactly, but unfortunately, Sebastian's running the triple tortoise oh, yeah. threat. So. <laughs> it is a tortoise, not a tortoise. turtle. Oh, is it? It is, yeah, it is a tortoise. Wait, exactly, you know? exactly. What's the yeah. difference? Um, uh, tortoise has flippers. feet, yeah, they're, they're, they're land, uh, land oh. animals. Okay. Yeah, turtles, they're, they're uh, aquatic. Oh, so they have fins. Yeah. Gosh, or what do you call them? Interesting, I didn't know that. Things you learn. <laughs> well, you want to talk animals? I know a, a lot about animals. Yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah. Why is that? Uh, just nerd stuff. I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I love, if, if you're on Reddit all the time, there's always animal shit. Oh, man, I'm, I'm on the internet. I grew up uh, watching Discovery Channel and uh, Canal D in French. So, yeah, and, like, uh, internet internet opened uh, opened up the new world of discoveries <laughs> I could make by, uh, on my own. Exactly. Right. It's Admiral O'Shell. I heard this story yesterday. Admiral I was kind O'Shell, of intoxicated, nice. but <laughs> I remember this story. He got 21st at Naboo. The tortoise? I'd imagine that's who was playing. <laughs> it's a Canadian beaver. It could be a Canadian beaver. This is going really well for Sebastian. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, no, unfortunately, like, when when you lose Dengar or Fen, oh, well, especially Dengar, you I have to trade for something. Dengar. The yeah, list yeah, yeah. loses so much. Yeah. Right. The big thing is, if you are gonna lose it, you've got to trade it for something. Yes. Exactly. And the idea now that it's three on two, it's it's not good. Yeah. So, uh, with that in mind, would it be the same, the same crippleness if Inaldra would have died instead of Dengar? No. No. I mean, Dengar with his yeah. ability to shoot and then shoot uh-huh. back. Yeah. Him going away, like uh, losing an Aldra is not good either. Yeah, but exactly. um, it's not as worse as because in uh, right. two of your uh, yeah. like damage outputting ship. Because it's really ben, the idea that once that ship went down and Sebastian still has three, three ships ships on the board, uh, the list loses a lot of its punch because mm-hmm. it's not like an Aldra is doing anything huge, right. but really giving an action. Can't even get into range one to get that di- that that extra dice. Because right. like, Dengar's a real workhorse of this list, yes. right? Yes. Like, Fen, Fen is the closer, but Fen can act as an Aldra if an Aldra goes down. Like, True. Fen can just, like, oh, right. dick right. off and just, like, right. keep focusing. Yeah, Fen has a great dial. It's even harder to yeah. hit at then, range 3. And then you yeah. get Dengar to just keep pumping damage into Nim. Nim yeah. actually goes down. And then Dengar comes back, and he's like, alright, you got a TLT, and you see range of range one of you. I mean, the, the Autobot security is great for covering, because I imagine what Sebastian would have done is he would have put, put Locke inside range one of the pirate, so that way you're either eating TLTs or the autoblasters, so. Yeah, I'm not sure Billy can come back from this one. No, I mean, I don't think so. As well as he's played. Number three's coming in from the far to close in the gaps. Yeah. So, uh, you guys want to do a bet on whether or not uh, Naldra gets a direct hit on the TLT? (laughs) (laughs) So nothing has died in the other top eight matches. That's right. crazy. Just our souls. It's probably a bunch of fair ship and uh, yeah, fair yeah. fair ships. There is I, I one fair the, ship left. Yes. There's one fair ship yeah. left. There is a oh, fair okay. ship yeah. left. There is a ghost left. There actually left. wasn't too too many fair ships out. Period. I think we had maybe that's three right. Or it was four it was a like decent amount. Real fair ship, yep. like yep. The, the standard fair ship. I build. really like what happened in the in the meta. Yeah. In, in this tournament, it was really really well balanced. Um, of course, we still see a lot of Miranda. I mean, there's a yep. ton of Miranda floating around. Um, I think there's two dashes still in the top eight. Oh, no, I know there's, there's, there's one. There's one that moved on. And I uh-huh. think there's one that was playing not on stream last round. Okay. There's so a there Falcon. Falcon over there. Uh, there's Ray, there's Ray Miranda left also. Yes. That, two, that, took, down, that took down uh, Duncan, yeah. Yeah, but I, I have to say it, like... And again, I'm like Duncan's one of the dice biggest. Him, if I'm not mistaken. I'm the biggest yeah, yeah. like Duncan fanboy, but like yeah, like from what I, from what he told me, you know, I saw it he thought yeah, well, like he, he thought the game was over, and then, and then yeah, yeah just he glitters him, him and he blanked on all his rolls. Yeah, and he he should have killed Ray, and then instead Ray survived and dealt yeah. like five more damage to Asajj. He was running cargo shoot. He told me before the game that he he had never used it in this tournament yet. Yeah. Just for the threat, 
Yeah, yeah. He, he didn't know if it, it was actually good. Yeah. But on that in that game, he actually dropped a cargo shoot with Miranda and Dengar bumping, and the cargo shoot only hits Miranda. Okay, so Miranda Ray is one of the more. In, it's an oddly enjoyable list to fly. Oh yeah, right. absolutely. It looks because fun. I mean, Ray's got a little bit of repositioning, can heap damage. Miranda, uh -huh. despite being pretty overpowered, it's um, that the ability to do like the reposition thing is. Mm -hmm. Fun to fly. Yes, I agree. And dropping I mean, that's, bomb I think that's also. why people like them so much. <laughs> like her so much, right? You can bomb. Yeah. She's great with a missile. Right. So oh, even yeah. if they eventually missile, they'll missile nerf Miranda's advanced so slam. Good. Missile yes. Miranda is oh, missing. Missile Miranda is so. Good. Only weakness is helplessness. <laughs> yeah. Because because I oh, I had a freaking I went up against a fair ship, and I launched two cruise missiles. Oh, got, like, five, got five hits on both. Or something like that. Mm -hmm. And the guy's like, all over your list. the guy's like staring at the dice, and he's like, uh, I'm not gonna spend the focus on um, on bigs, and I'm just gonna soak up all five onto the lower rank. And I was like, all right, and then I shoot the other, I land five, and then he rolls, uh, he rolls two focuses, spends the focus, and he's like, I'm spend gonna R4 D6, R4 D6 the one. Mm. And then he's like, I take two damage. And I was just like, <laughs> oh my God. like so this game's not gonna go well. So yeah. ten damage, two, oh, FSR two, two damage on base. Yeah. Is yeah. Amazing <laughs> against that those little alpha strike lists. It You're like, ridiculous. please shoot me, I don't care. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we'll actually see another FSR versus FSR. I think there's only one left in the cut, Tim. It's, uh, it's actually another Quebecer that has that's running the uh, FSR. And yeah, he's I've been actually played against yep. him a couple times. He's, been, he's just random. He's a tournaments. really good guy. Yeah. yeah, he's a really good player. Also, he's 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 won uh, two games. Oh, he's been floating around top tables yeah. the entire tournament. Yeah, he won he won two games in final salvos. Oh, seriously, is that it? Oh, that's range one. Uh, is that the full five? Yeah. The full four? There you go. One damage. Oh, dead. Oh, my yeah, God. No, is that, is that the direct hit? Yeah, uh, it is. Of course it is. Of course it is. Wait, did he even roll a crit, though? Yeah, he did. It was three hits and a crit versus... Oh. But it doesn't matter. But he, has light sick. he has light sick. He has light sick. He'll yeah. take the face-up damage. Oh, that's what it was. A single yes. damage one. It was a single real. damage. And it was face-up direct hit like, for the kill. So did we bet on the direct hit? Or? Oh, we, we should have. We right? should have. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this game is over. Yeah. <laughs> the fan is running yeah. into the corner. I mean, Atani is not the EBT you want when you're the only <laughs> ship on the board. I mean, I feel like a strong play with Billy at this point would be a hard two off the board. The mind link to a right. bunch of uh, as, a, as a mark of respect. I mean, you might play it out just to play it out. Like you can just do a like a range one joust or something like that. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be great actually. If you if you could at least take take a, take a ship out with him. Uh, and Sebastian's playing. He's playing. It's a slow game. No, this has been a great game. Like pace oh, yeah. has been good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Play has been really clean. Like this has been just a very good game. What's interesting is. Um, Dominic, I don't know if you saw the, uh, the the other feature match, the one before this. Uh, well, yeah, it's called TLTs yeah. against uh, well, we'll that Dash. Yeah. Stream, if you so didn't that see. Oh, I, saw, I saw the the end yeah. of the game. That was crazy. But good. the beginning, it was like an incredible, incredible chess match and just repositioning and range yeah, control. Yeah. This one had an absolutely different tempo to it. This one was we kind of both just decided to joust each other, and again, like I think. I think it's really easy to underestimate Sebastian's list on the shows. Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen this a lot. Yeah, to this, yeah. right? Uh -huh. Like this list is going to continue to surprise people. Yes. Because it's not like you've gotten at least an Armada, and I'd assume several others. You don't see a lot of triple skirts, especially exactly. loaded out like exactly. that. Yeah, usually you see like that's a really the Ordnance or the TLT variant, right? Like you don't see this, especially like Gong, no Grindy cat, kind of two yep. auto blasters. Yep. Like he has all his fire. angle covered, actually. With that list, he does. I mean, I guess the one thing is, is I don't even think there's one floating around. 
you could potentially throw alpha into this if you wanted to and rip one off the board. Yes. Rip, yeah. Um, yeah, that would work. But I don't think there's another. I don't think there's any alpha strike left no. to give it a problem. Is it? I don't in, think in, so. Left in the tournament? I think you're right. I think Dash Miranda would give this one for its money. Sure. Oh, yeah, he doesn't want to see Dash sure. Miranda. He yeah. does not want to see that. That'll has, give it a hard time. Yeah, he has a hard time exactly. Four, four, that. Yeah, four, exactly, four. Exactly. Four. Exactly. Yeah. Plus, that Miranda, is it, Miranda is a, is, she's a... If you could, like, in that matchup, you could potentially lose, you know, a ship every two turns. Yep. Yeah. Something yeah. Like On ships that really, like, it, it's a good counter to it. Yeah. I don't know, though. Going into these, like, top 16s, who you draw as your opponent makes yep. a Absolutely. huge, huge deal. Absolutely. How do you think uh, a fair ship rebel would do against this list? Hmm. Did he? I think he played against one. He played against one, and both players take it take it really slow. Yep. Um, I think it'll, it'll, well, it'll, it'll, it comes down to a matter of dice so at that well, point. If I were playing fair ship rebel against this list, I would probably straight joust it. Yep. Yep. Because I think that's what you, you can. Do. Um, as long as your dice with FSR, especially if you're running something like the Wookiees, mm -hmm. where he, like gets you that little bit more damage consistency the from um, Lorik, you could heap damage onto this. He took on. I think he lost. He lost to Fairship Rebels. I think it's his, his only I loss. Think it is an okay matchup. He lost. It's his only loss, and um, he actually lost to uh, the second round of Final Salvo. Gotcha. Because he tied to the first roll, and he lost to the, the second one. And like I say, that would be something like, the matchup would be maybe 60-40, or something like that. Yeah, how you really flew close. it and yeah, how you exactly. repositioned would be the biggest part of that. Because this has turrets. The moment you start playing in that formation, Fairship doesn't turn around well. So Billy's going yep. for a block here. He's going to see if he can get the auto to kill. Sebastian, in the last round, Sebastian just won against um, against Fairship Rebels, and the bomb did, the bomblet generator did the whole thing. Good chance of a. Oh, I don't. Oh, sorry. Oh, never mind. Fen had had already moved. We're talking about. See, the one thing I can say is I think at this point there is a fantastic chance of uh, Canadian Nats being won by a Canadian. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's literally not that many Americans left How in many the are field. Left? Well, Nate Moore beat Duncan, so Nate is American. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. He's from, so he'll be yeah, tough yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he's won. Yeah. I think um, that's a good matchup uh, for Sebastian. Yeah, and that's the Ray Miranda. Mm -hmm. The Ray Miranda. Intro, like, I think, I think that's Sebastian just kind of has a cool good list. I love that. Yeah. Um, the less ship Sebastian sees uh, from his opponent, the, be the better he feels about his matchup. Yeah. I mean, I think if I were... Sebastian, I would like a two-ship list yep, with this. Exactly. I mean, it's a nice matchup against yep. a two-ship list. Too many health. Too much um, health. Ray, the, I guess the downside with Ray is he will have the option to pretty much go in arc versus the list, and if his dice get hot, gets hot, Ray can mitigate so much damage and throw so much back so hard. And I don't know if Nate's Miranda has a missile. If Nate's Miranda recall. has a missile, think, that's no, a very think, punchy list. I think it, it, it only has Sabine and the Bomblet. It's a pretty straightforward Miranda. A classic, yeah. So say. he's probably running, like, what, long range? Is he running Advanced yeah, Slam no, or Long Range Scanner? Yeah, scanners? Advanced Slam. Uh, yes, Long Range Scanner. Sabine and the Bomblet, and I think that's it. Because uh, the rest of the points are in into Ray. Ben just lost one more hull in TLT. Hmm. Nim is almost dead, down to two hull. Should be a nice I'm consolation of Billy Pop. Yeah. Tough, tough though. I mean, right, like Nim's just gonna drop a bomb. It's probably just, just his consolation. Like, just do a little right. bit of a oh, yeah. drop a bomb. Just in I don't case. see I don't see Fen coming in still for to. the yeah, he, he has to disengage uh, again, so. And even he yeah, the last two yanks are playing each other. <laughs> oh really? That's good. Wow. So it's Miranda Ray against the Ghost Lorik. Oh, 
such a nice move. Yeah. It's the only direction Frank can go right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Even then, he's probably going to get bombed. Even has the block if he, if he moves. He's going to get oh, bombed. Oh, yeah, that, that clears. I think so, too. And he has to boost out. He has oh, to yeah. Boost out. Oh, yeah. He's got thrusters and everything. Yeah. He should be. Yeah. Like, it, you're taking it to the dice, sure, at that point. Um, I like that the, he's still playing it. Yeah, he's playing seriously, it out. seriously. Yeah. yeah. Billy's a hell of a player. Yeah. Um, he's, he's really good, but, like, more importantly, he's a really, really nice guy. Yes, he is. Uh, he's, my, he's, yeah. he's, he's a fantastic opponent. Yeah. He's my my first loss the yesterday. My Dengar ate it. He was <laughs> he's just one of those, like, he's a genuinely nice person. Yeah, yeah. That's what's nice about the X-Wing community. Everyone's, like, in general, a nice person. Yeah, like, even people who like, get passionate, these, yes. like, final cuts and big tournaments, but for the most part, like, you do see just a... It's a nice community. It's the, it's the fly casual attitude. Except you, Moss. Except me. Yeah, I'm kind of a dick. <laughs> That's why you're not playing. I, I was judging, <laughs> which... Did you have to make any tough calls? I did have some interesting oh, yeah? calls. Yeah, what kind? Um... So you see a lot of order of operations calls, right? So like TLTs right. with quick draw. Uh, yeah. So both I would TLTs go off. Go off before, exactly. Yeah. Linked attack. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, after. Oh, linked attack. Um, first time I hear it this way. Um, like opponent was not thrilled about that rule. I thought yeah. it was the right one. Um, what, what? Really? Yeah. He was not thrilled about it? No. Well, you should ask him whether or not Tactician triggers twice then on a TLT. This is the exact same principle. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was pretty straightforward. And like, yeah, the reason why the yeah. timing was. Yeah, I thought it was, was pretty TLT, straightforward. Pretty much. Oh, whatever. Um, that's the same. That's the same with like someone who was. I, I had a forlom on a TLT Paylop, right? And I was like, I was trying to explain to the guy on Vassal. I just need a forlom once to take the eye on. Correct. So like that. Yeah, you can't and you can't spend it on either attack. Correct. He's like, no. You, you have to. And I was like, all right, fine. I'll take two on. I was like, what's the difference? And he was like, oh, oh yeah. It's, it's like, it doesn't make a difference. It's like either way. Either way. You're yeah, not like, getting it. Yeah. Um. There's the other big question, and I think it's because it's just kind of a uh, dirty set of rules out right now. Is the front and rear arc on low rig? That any clarification on? That any clarification on? So, so what exactly is the the rule on that? So we rule that. If you can shoot the front arc, you're hitting the front arc. And that was more like Devin made that call going into Nats just how it would work. Okay. My thought is, is if you're in arc, exactly. the closest point in arc is what you have to hit. I think... I think it's that, honestly. That is not how we actually ruled it. Yeah. Um, that is That was just the general ruling of the tournament. But I think it's that because it's you've always gone closest point to closest point yeah. is the range in arc. Yeah. That's what you're shooting. You do not get the ability to say then. So well, let's say in the off chance that the front arc was range two and the back, or the, let's say the front arc was range three and the back arc was range two. Okay. You reinforce the front. Okay. Okay, wait. So, so sorry. Um, so the guy, the guy that I played in round one was flying four Wookiee gunships with four Wookiee commanders. <laughs> I think there are like one or two lists out there for that. But okay, so how he explained it to me, and I trust him because again, it seems like he flies a lot of a lot of Wookies. But he said basically, if he has the front reinforce, and if he can shoot you, he gets the front reinforce. He said that's the easiest way to think of it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. Which, that's an interesting. Which, which is your rule. It's yeah. exactly how it is. Actually. Yeah, which is your rule because it would be the closest point. It doesn't matter who, who attacks. It's if the ship that gets attacked Russian with... Open. No, yeah. that's not. That's oh, sorry, against it's not my rule. Yeah, sorry, it's the opposite of mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because let's say you lined up that front arc, but the closest point, like, especially if you're firing like a rear arc. So Fen died. Like that. Yeah, Fen died. Just, just so we make it clear.